Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to our brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a Game Pass only chat tag. So for starters you're going to want to make sure Explore and Properties are enabled, if Explore and Properties are not enabled you'll head up to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explore and Properties and they should pop up somewhere over your screen. So now that you've enabled Explore and Properties you want to head over to Explore and click on Text Chat Service, Chat Version and then change the chat version to Legacy Chat Service. Now that you've done that, you want to head over to your service script service and click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted a script inside service script service, you now want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and paste in the new code. So now that we've inserted the code into the service script service script, we now want to go and adjust a couple of things. So first of all, on line one where it says local game pass ID, we want to go and change this ID with our game pass ID. So if you don't have a game pass ready, you want to head over to your main Roblox page and find your game and then go into the settings of the game. And then you want to go over to the left here where it says details and go underneath where it says associated items. You then want to click on passes because passes basically mean game passes. Then you want to click on create pass. Now for this tutorial, we're just going to leave it as a default logo there, which is kind of like a golden ticket it looks like, but we want to go and add a name and for this tutorial, we're just going to be calling this uh, Game Pass, just like that. You can add a bit of a description, but feel free to go and change the logo of your Game Pass to whatever your Game Pass is going to be. Now add it a bit of a description and then we want to click on Create Pass. Now that we've created our pass, we want to click on it again and then we want to click on Sales. And then we want to set it for, to be for sale, basically allowing people to purchase it. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be setting the price to one. And then you want to go click on save changes. So now that you've finished adjusting your game pass, you want to click on back to associated items. And then this will take us back to all our items that are inside the game, like badges, passes and developer products. We want to click on our passes again. And then you want to click on the three dots here by our game pass, which we are using. And we want to go and click copy asset ID. And then we want to take that back to Roblox Studio and replace the previous ID and paste in our new game pass ID. As you guys can see, we have now gone and replaced the previous ID with our game pass ID. Now on line eight, we want to go and adjust what the our name of our game pass or our chat tag is actually going to be. So on default, I've got it set to game pass name, but let's say you're doing this as a VIP game pass where they receive a VIP chat tag. If they own the VIP game pass, we can go and change this to VIP. Now keep in mind, you can also put emojis next and next to or behind these the, this text, basically allowing it to be maybe a, a crown emoji, then saying the VIP text. You could do something like that, but for this tutorial, we'll just keep it a very simple. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna be just changing this back to Game Pass like that, just so, because this is just a random Game Pass, but obviously you go and adjust it to however you would like. So this is where you change the text of what the chat tag actually is named. Now you're also able to adjust the tag color, basically meaning the color which the tag is going to be. On default, I've got it set to kind of like a nice light blue, a uh, light blue, I'm pretty sure it's that light blue right there. But you can go and change it maybe for like a VIP, you could change it to maybe like an orange like that. But for the tutorial, I'm just gonna be keeping it as a blue. Now you're also able to adjust the color of the text which the player says. So basically we've got our ta chat tag up here, but we are also able to adjust the color of the text which the which our text is actually in. So for example, if I said subscribe to it's underscore floppy fish there in the chat, the actual main text right now would be white. But you are also able to adjust the color of that to maybe an, a yellow for VIP Game Pass. I'll show you and we can do some demonstrations here in a little bit, but there you go. You can adjust the color of the text right there. So now that you've finished adjusting everything, you wanna head up here, click on X to go save the script, and then you wanna go to home and you wanna click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base player. And if we go type something in our chat, chat by opening chat by clicking slash, or you can click on the chat icon up there, open your chat. And then we wanna go and type something. Let's go and type test, just like that. And as you guys can see, there is our chat tag and our chat tag name is called Game Pass. And because we already own the Game Pass on default, basically when you create a Game Pass, you automatically own the Game Pass so you don't have to purchase it again. But keep in mind, any other random ordinary player who doesn't have the Game Pass will not have this chat tag. And as you guys can see, our uh, text is white. As you guys just saw, our text color was white. Now, for example, if we go and change this to maybe like a red and we go uh, close the script and then we go click on play, you'll be able to see that our text color is actually red instead of white this time. As you guys can see, we're now on the base plate. And if we go right test again, you can see that we've got our game pass uh, chat tag up here. We've got our username and then we also have the red color of text. 
If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.